So today we're jumping inside the Model S refresh and we're gonna talk about game controllers. With all the cool, fun, exciting games that Tesla has brought to the center screen, what game controller is the best, what works the easiest, what doesn't take forever to try to pair, and what is the best option to buy? So in the past, we have shown you the Xbox controller and what is kind of required for that. You need the Xbox controller, you need the special Magic NS to be able to like transfer the signal, and then you need to have the USB-C connector. You need to have a bunch of different things and even then, a lot of people have been noticing, especially recently, with this little controller here, that they've been having a lot of issues still getting it connected. So in come these remotes. So these are actually by Jawa and these are sold by our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. We'll link them down below if you'd like to pick these up. But they come in at a very reasonable price point. Now we have the brown or wood version right here. And then right here we have the black carbon, which I believe the black carbon one is definitely gonna be my choice, but I will reserve judgment until we open them. And here's the carbon version of the remote and the wood so you can kind of see how both those look uh, definitely if you have a wood trim i can definitely see doing this but i just love any kind of carbon fiber even if it's just a carbon fiber look it just looks so nice and sleek you know match the trim in this vehicle right here but i wanted to kind of go over the perks of all of these because they aren't just for your car. You can do multi-device switching. So you can do this with like Bluetooth. You can do this with a little dongle. It does have a vibration built in six axis gyro, auto burst function. It also does have a 600 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and supports a USB-C charging. Thank God it's USB-C and not micro. And yeah, it is very lightweight. So let's go ahead and just open it up real quick and see what we get. So you can kind of see this kind of tells you exactly what is what, all the buttons you could think of. You do get this quick connection guide. So the cool thing here is that you can do USB dongle for your PC and Tesla. It does have a Bluetooth mode for both Apple and Android devices. S for switch, and then you have the power off slash wired connection. So you would just press the home button to activate it. You can press the hold sync button for three seconds until you see the LED light flashing quickly to start pairing. And that is when you will plug in the USB dongle first. And then the light will remain lit once it's connected successfully. And it does come with a different user manual as well with many different pages as well as some different languages for you to be able to answer any questions you might have in this. And then next up you have the remote control. So it does have these little like foam pieces it ships with. Uh, it feels very nice actually in the hand. So not gonna lie there, you have like your home button, your turbo button. This is how you change what device you want to connect to right there. And it actually lists them all right here. Hopefully you can see that. And then in the bottom of the box in here, you do have a USB-C to USB-A cable in case you want a wired function or to charge it. And then in here you do get two little things. You do have a USB-A to USB-C adapter for the newer vehicles that have USB-C and not USB-A outlets on there. And then you have your little dongle right here. And this dongle is actually what you will plug into your vehicle to be able to access the controller. Now, for those of you with a refresh Model S, such as this one or X, or even the threes and Ys that have USB-C, that is where this little adapter comes in. All you will do is just go ahead and connect these like so, and then go ahead and put this in your USB-C outlet right in your center console. Okay, so technically it is in the power off position. So we're gonna go ahead and switch it all the way to the left for the dongle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the dongle right here and go ahead and plug it into one of the USB-C outlets in my center console. And then it does say to press the home button to activate. So that's just this one right here. And then it says press and hold the sync button, which is right up here for three seconds until you see the LED flashing quickly to start the pairing. Oh, and uh, just like that, we are good with that little solid light. So we are good. We got that vibration feedback to know that we're activated. So let's 
Let's go ahead and I've actually never played Battle of Polytopia, maybe later. So the game that's probably the most popular, I would still think is Beach Buggy Racing, but they do have a lot of really cool games, so we might have to check those out. But let's go ahead and try and see how this works out with the controller. Okay, so A, B, so this is, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm literally in last place right now. Wow, look at me go though. Oh no, somebody else uh, duped me. Still got first, baby, still got it. So yeah, that's kind of like the quick breakdown of the controller. Super easy to get it all started and everything. But yeah, definitely let me know down below what you guys feel about this controller. Is this something that you would buy? Do you prefer the carbon or would you like the wood? And we can go ahead and talk about it down there. But this is definitely a product I can see a lot of people wanting to buy, especially because who doesn't want a game in their Tesla with all this computer and everything behind here? Have some fun with it. Play some games. Enjoy life a little bit. And I can definitely say these will be a living in my car. So whenever I'm free, I can go ahead and jump in here and uh, get some beach buggy racing in. Wow. Sky bars. Reloaded. Bum, bum, bum. Push your buggy. Oh, it's both of us. Okay. Oh, well, I'm blue. Let's I'm red. Over there. Yeah. Are we like thing are we sharing a score or something? Get the starters. Uh oh. What's that? You guys should what is that? That is Whoa! Oh, oh no! My chip! It's broken. <laughs> Where'd I? Did you? Did you I die? Died? It must be over for me. Stay alive. And then, last but certainly not least, to turn off the controller, all you do is you slide this all the way to the right, and that is the power off. But that's basically it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know down below. Do you game in your Tesla? Have you ever gamed in your Tesla? Is it something that you would be willing to do? And if you have. Which game do you prefer? I'll definitely have to start playing some of the other ones. The Battle of Polytopia does sound like a really fun one, so maybe I'll have to try that one out next. So we'll go ahead and link these down below if any of you would like to pick one or even two up for some multiplayer action. And they are sold by our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. So if you are looking to place an order, feel free to use code Tesla Inventory and get 15% off of your first purchase. They do have all kinds of other really cool accessories too. So definitely check them out. And if you are on Twitter, definitely go ahead and tag me in some of your high scores and uh, we'll be retweeting some of those high scores. So let's see who can get the best score. But that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it though. Definitely thumbs up if you did. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.